Hello everybody, I'm a bit later with my update this week because I just got back from Horicon 2015 in Sheffield, it's the first one they've done. So I've got quite a few things to show and see what let you see what I've got. Had a great time there, really good laugh. Met some good people there and well, I'll get straight on with it. Right, first up, this is a From Beyond Blu-ray that I had. Took this, got it signed there by Ken Foray who was absolutely gigantic, really nice bloke, really enjoyed meeting him, so I got that one done. <clears throat> and this one here, it's the um, Arrow Limited Edition Dawn of the Dead, obviously without the slip cover here, got that signed there by Ken Foray there, and the brilliant Tom Savini, who I really enjoyed chatting to, he chose this one to sign, I showed him all four of them, and um, yep, this is the one that he liked, so got that done. Well chuffed with that. Also, I got my um, Region 1 Anchor Bay release here of um, Maniac. Got it signed there again by Tom Savini and up there by Carolyn Munro. Oh, she was great as well, really down to earth. And what I liked about her was she didn't charge you for actually... There she is. Didn't actually charge you for any, um, any photos. She um, said she doesn't believe in that, so all photos are free. So really nice lady and I also got Caroline as well to sign this it's my um, arrow video slaughter high DVD which you know had a little chat with her about yeah you know, like she said her husband directed it and it's really cheesy fun also got this one I met Martine Beswick there she is there she signed this one this um, Dr. Jacqueline sister hind my hammer DVD she'd never seen this cover before so she really like seeing it and she's really impressed with the color scheme on it as well yep she is really nice and friendly as well also here this is my um, Pioneer Special Edition Region 1 DVD a Texas Chainsaw Massacre there signed by Gunnar Hansen I really liked him met him a couple of times there you go Grant you're next so yep a really nice bloke really enjoyed talking to him and finally the people that um the guests that I met, I got my Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 sign there, 2 Grant, Dogs Will Hunt, Mosley, Bill Mosley, Chop Top. Now, wasn't that impressed with him, he was a bit quiet, didn't seem very chatty, you know, bit of a miserable fucker really. And the thing about this was I actually forgot to take this, left it at the house, but luckily Arrow Video were there, so they were selling there for 20 quid, so I've got two copies of this now. But I forgot my Devil's Rejects DVD, which really pissed me off because I'd love to have got that signed. But yeah, out of all the celebrities, Bill Mosley, pretty miserable. And also, his um, DVD I got, I met the director and all that of this. Short film called Banjo. Independent film here. About a guy who um, gets his, actually, imaginary friend comes to life. Yeah, actually, nice people. Met them, had a chat with them and that about the film. They make it into a full-length feature film. So, yeah, got that signed there by all, all the people in it. Really good fun. All right, get to the next stuff. This stuff I picked up here. I got this. It's a trauma on. It says there, one of the greatest horror films of the 80s. But then it's got the explanation mark there. I watched this on the Saturday night in the hotel. And it was quite bad. It's an anthology thing, you know, about vampires and shit like that. And, yeah. It was pretty shit. <laughs> also, there's another Region 1 Troll Morn here. It's um, Doomsday Country. I haven't actually seen this one yet. Vampires, zombies, aliens, no problem. Don't know anything about this, but it looks quite fun. You know, trauma. A bit hit and miss, but it's good for a laugh. Also, quite happy to find this. Vipco's Volks of Horror. It's a uh, City of the Living Dead. This is one of the ones I needed from a Volks of Horror one. It's actually got some special features as well. Interview with Cat Catriona McCall and audio commentary with Catriona McCall and Jay Slater. So actually, <laughs> quite surprised by that for a Vipco. And also got this. This was terrible. Lucio Fulci's Sodomer's Ghost. Absolutely terrible film. You can see all about Fulci. He just went downhill. 1988 on this and... Um, Basically, he just throws as many pairs of tits in as he can. And the ending's fucking horrendous. 
really bad. But I tell you what, if you like your cheese, it's good fun. <laughs> right. As usual, I found the Arrow store, which I got Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 from, and went to town there. <laughs> I got this one. It's a Milano Calibro 9. It's actually been after this for a while. It's an Italian police film. It looks really, really, really good. Yeah, I mean, I actually can't wait to see this. It's got loads of special features on it. This one seems to have been held back for a while, but I do like that cover as well. Really nice. Also, 80s cheese, the old Chuck Norris Lee Marvin, Delta Force. I remember this when I was a kid. Brilliant. One of the canon films, which they, you know, made some great films back in the 80s and that. You know what I mean? This is a good one. Good classic one. I haven't seen it for a while, but I always remember Chuck Norris's bike with the rocket launches on the front. Now, I know nothing about this one. The girl who knew too much. But it was only a tenner, so I thought I might as well pick it up. But yeah, give this one a go. It's got John Saxon in it. I actually like him. You know what I mean? It's an Italian one. It's only a 12, but, you know, the Italians know how to get atmosphere. Finally got this one. It's uh, The People Under the Stairs. I got it on DVD, but see it here cheap. I thought, I'll pick it up. Wes Craven's film. I actually really like this film. You know what I mean? I remember when it first came out, I couldn't wait to see it. it took me a while. Didn't think it was as good as I thought it was going to be, but then got it again on DVD, and appreciated it a lot more really good film it's well chuffed with this i got the old free as you know japanese mafia films and i thought oh stray cat rock box set you know i'll get that but i looked online it was like 199 pounds because there's only 2000 them made lo and behold got their store and there it is you see that focus no it's not focus is it well there's only 2000 copies so yeah, I was really chuffed to get this for 50 quid. You know, it's a bargain, you get quite a few films in it. And only 2,000 copies. Can't go wrong, can you? Can't wait to see them. And finally, I see this on John Calvert's video just the other day. It's um, Contamination. I've got it on the um, Boxer Band 2 as well, and I really enjoyed it. And it wasn't that bad a, bad a print on there, really. But this is really good film. Really good, and I like the slip cover because there's not actually many slip covers that Arrow seem to do, but they seem to be getting into it more. So, yeah, this looks really good. I like the way it does that. Yeah, so it's a nice upgrade there. Good film, good fun. All right, so that's stuff there. I got all that, and I actually managed to pick up a few VHSs as well. I got this one, it's called um, Deadly Daphne's Revenge. It's a trauma one. VHS, she saw revenge and vowed to spit on their graves a bit of a rip off that isn't it yeah I actually know nothing about this but it looks exactly like a spit on your grave yeah I actually look forward to this know nothing about it but I like the cover also same same store I found this one look at that what a brilliant cover Satan's dog she screamed for the devil and he sent her Satan's dog I love it yeah know nothing about this but it says it's only on only on for one hour which is a bit strange but yeah you know i've seen that cover big box there thought i'm gonna get it and finally i've got the old toby hooper classic here you know life force from guild home video i used to have this one back in the day there's my field of may there sexiest vampire out there yeah love this film got it on dvd got it on blu-ray and i've got it on vhs as well i love that cover as well brilliant yeah, so they're the stuff that um, mostly got there. Also got some other little bits as well. The guy selling his comics there. Got it to Scott and Stan there. Freak Town Comics, The Dark of the Forest. It says, sign there. Save me, Grant. Rush. You know, pretty good. You know, oops, quite sexy there. Quite quite a lot of um, so like the um, 80s films. Seems to just be lots of tits in there, doesn't it? <laughs> got that one. I like that one, and there's this one, Dying is Art from Russ. Got these quite cheap. You know, he's only done two comics. This is about a um, serial killer, it's like an 80s one. Serial killer in a burlesque club. So, yeah, that looks quite fun as well. Getting them signed, but. And also, I am. Um, when I met Gunnar Hansen, got this here signed. Grant, you're next, Gunnar Hansen. I actually. Um, 
went back to meet him because you know it's 20 quid a sign in and that's and um had a little bit of money left so I went back in and he actually said oh I'll tell you what mate get a photo here i'll sign it and uh, you can get a picture as well and i was like really he was like yeah so i got that signed brilliant picture there and the miserable bill mosley got to sign this he was a lefty to grant breakfast in bed you know what i mean yeah otis on the bottom there as well bill mosley so yeah i'll get them two framed it's a pity he was so miserable because i was really looking forward to meeting him but yeah got that done just quite happy with them and also there were some people there promoting a movie as well it's called survivors that's the uk one sheet there got everyone in it the director the, everyone to sign it i couldn't choose between that and the british one the british one and the american one so there's the american poster that you'll be seeing survivors and they all signed that as well really nice people it was a zombie infection film infection is coming really nice posters as well so yeah i got them really chuffed with that also um what do you call it there were some guys there doing a kickstarter campaign for a for a new comic called postmortem and uh, i got this cracking print there you see it there got this cracking print off the guy brilliant the two dogs there yeah they're doing a kickstarter campaign it showed i was chatting to them seeing all the artwork they were doing it looked absolutely amazing so i was really really chuffed with that and that's there. So here, this is the little quick print they've done of it. Some stuff for the comic. See there, they haven't even coloured that in. But yeah, looks really good. Some really good artwork in there. Really talented guys as well, yeah. That was called Postmortem. I was really chuffed with that. Plus I've got loads and loads of these as well. The old cards. There you go, Video Drum. Mark of the Devil. We've got loads and loads of these. They were giving them away. We've got Tomb of Ligeria as well. Here's Rollerball. Buckaroo Banzai. Milano Calibro 9. It's a nice one. Coffee. And Tailraiser. And that was, uh, looks like um, Branded to Kill or something. Although I think it's the last one he's done, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, I'm really chuffed with these as well. I like these little things. And yep, finally up. I got a, went into Poundland while we were in Sheffield. I got this for a quid. Into the woods. Nothing about it, but usual. Hunting trips to the woods. Then stuff starts to happen. They fight to stay alive. So I got that. Went into HMV. I got one of the old 88 films. The Italian collection, this is number two, Bloodstained Shadow. I look forward to that. It's pretty good. Got this one as well. House of Mortal Sin. I like it when they do the Blu-rays and the black cover there. Nothing about this, but it's a, I think it's a Peter Walker film. Yeah. So it looks quite good. Give this one a go. I like some of this stuff. Got this from Amazon. Finally got it. X-ray. They have an alternative name there. Hospital Massacre, that's number nine in the Slasher Collection. Actually enjoyed that film, watched it last night. Really good. Got this one as well, finally. Anthropicus the Beast. It's another 88 films here. I like the old slip cover. You take it out and you get the old classic one there. Yeah, actually this has got a really good documentary I watched last night as well. It's called um, 42nd Street Memories, The Rise and Fall of America's Most Notorious Block. Absolutely brilliant, an hour and a half film by Callan Waddell um, about that famous strip in New York of all the cinemas, all the sleazy cinemas, and uh, absolutely brilliant documentary. I recommend anyone checking that out. Uh, really entertained watching it. Loads of directors like Joel Dante and all that in it as well. Tom Holland giving their own stories about how bad it was in there. Ah, oh, really enjoyed it really seedy wish i could have went there and finally up yep, i've got a uh, one steel book that come through this is ryan reynolds one film the voices with Gemma arterton and anna kendrick really like the design of this it's just like a like a fridge and then you open it up and there's two heads in there 
where he keeps them that keep talking to him. And there's the dog and the cat food as well. A bit of milk in there. Really good design, this one. Really good one here by Zavi. This is a Arrow Films DVD, Blu-ray, I mean. Yeah, so I like that. Yeah, so that's um, basically everything I've got. I had a really good time. The old Horicon got some really good autographs and some really good stuff. So yeah, um, leave your comments below. Um, yeah, any of the films I haven't seen or any of the ones I have seen, what you think of them and that. And um, yeah, always all have a good day and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, wait a minute. One other thing I got. I'll just show you here. Um, my daughter just had her first kid, so I've become a actually become a granddad and while we were there seeing this was absolutely brilliant it's a little um baby suit with a lovely skull and crossbones on it as you can see it there look at that <laughs> absolutely brilliant so yeah i hope to see him wearing this soon really good fun there you go <laughs> don't know what she'll say when she sees it but yeah i really enjoy it <laughs> cool okay then everybody oh wait a minute don't forget here we are i actually got another one of these um pop vinyls this is a trick-or-treat this is a sam one wife spotted this absolutely brilliant little figure there yeah brilliant okay then that is it I promise longer video than normal so i'll see all you guys later and hope you all have a good week and had a good weekend Okay then, bye.